Hey my angels, I missed y'all so much and I'm here to share with you my everyday look makeup tutorial. So let's get started. So right here I am just patting my face with the Makeup Forever foundation in number 35. It is a matte velvet so it's a good finishing touch, full coverage. I already did my eyebrows so here I'll be lining up with concealer which is a really good consistency by F Physicians Formula and Natural Light. And then I'm going to be using the Tarte and Light Medium to cover my whole eyelid to give it a good um, foundation to put my eyeshadow, which it will make it stay longer. Next, I'm going to be using Silk Cream color in the Jaclyn Hill Palette as a transitioning color, using a brush and going back and forth as windshield motions. It's a little messy, but don't worry, we can clean that up with everything else. The next color that I'm going to be placing is my favorite, favorite color, and it's a single um, eyeshadow by, Caf by Morphe, Morphe um, brushes, and it's Cafe Machicado, 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 I think. I love that color, and I'm going to be using this brown for my, what I use for my eyebrow, it's the same brown, and it's by Ardell. I will, it's a brow defining pit kit, and I'll link that on the description below. So I'm going to be going back and forth, making that brown color very smoky. Um, I love brown because it's more natural. You can wear it with anything. And so I would love to do more color eyeshadow looks. Let me know. Comment below if you would love to see more color. Um, since it's summer, it's cool to add some color to your eyes, girl. You know what I'm saying? Next, I'm going to be using this liner, and I like to use the Maybelline Master Precise Eye Studio. And I actually like to dip in the liquid, well not liquid, it's um, the Maybelline Eye Studio Paint Pot. So I get the liner because it's really pointy, and then I dip it in the paint pot. Um, that's one of my combinations, combos, I love it. It just adds more dimension, I kind of like that gel look. Okay, so we need to be highlighting our face, and again, Tarte Concealer is the bomb. It's a little bit pricey, but it's the bomb. And I'm gonna be using light medium. You're gonna go under your eyes. I do my nose because it covers the redness. Do your forehead um, and, your, um, and your chin, and just using the Beauty Blender, damp Beauty Blender, you can blend that out. Yeah, my face looks super white, but don't worry. I'm going to start contouring with Anastasia Light to Medium Contour Palette. I'm going to be dipping it um, on one of the shadows, the far right. Again, I will put that in the description of what color. And I'm just going to be going back and forth from the jawline, kind of to my mouth a little bit, and be also going to the forehead. Depending how much you use on the forehead, you can make your forehead bigger or smaller depending um, on the highlight um, and depending on how much contour color you use. So I'm just going to be going all around um, my my face and doing that contour. I'm using that consist that good consistency that I told you concealer back to Felician Physicians Formula in the color Natural Light. And I'm going to be putting that more in the inside. I like a bright highlight in the inside. It really ups lift your eyes. I'm going to be getting a Morphe Fan brush and I'm going to be using the Hula Girl, the Hula Bronzer and B. Making my nose smaller, yes, a little bit too big, but it's okay. Um, the best thing is that you can use this technique and making it smaller by highlighting in the middle and using those lines with a fan brush will really make the lines straight. Next, I'm going to be using this number seven. That's actually what the makeup is called, number seven, and it's a translucent powder. And I look crazy, I know. And I go to my dad. I'm like, Dad, look at me. I'm going to go out like this. And he starts laughing. But anyways, and um, just putting that, leaving that on a little bit. And then you brush that off. Um, going with the Hula bronzer, I'm going to be going back in and just bronzing my face a little bit more now that everything's together. Um, and using this blush by Jaclyn Hill, which I think it's ready. Um, it's It was a limited edition. So... By using the highlight, um, one of Jaclyn Hill's colors, um, I use like a highlight to highlight in the middle, but you can get any like pretty color, silverish color. And I'm gonna be using the white in the Jaclyn Hill. I'll be using, the, I'll be telling you the names on the bottom of all the colors that I've used. I, the white in the inner corner will definitely brighten your eyes. It makes a difference. I cannot leave the house until I got that white eyeshadow in the inner corner. I'm going to be using eyeshadow a little bit underneath my waterline. And then, girl, let me tell you, 
this Anastasia um, highlight is the bomb.com. Yes, girl. No. It is the highlighter by M. Rizzy. If you don't know who M. Rizzy is, search her on Instagram. Her makeup is always glowing. She's always glowing. So this is amazing. Next, I'm going to be using this Mario Badescu face water face spray it's a stay on spray it actually refreshes your spray it makes your makeup stay on and it lasts and that's it with my tutorial thank you for watching i know it was really quick if you have any suggestions or ideas or want me to do some more please comment below please subscribe i will love that love y'all and have a great day remember girl you're beautiful you have god's identity in you and walk like you own it because god is in you Amen. Hallelujah. Bye, girl.